I'm going to walk you through how to set up alarms and switches for flying 3S and 4S um, batteries in case you fly both like I do. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go into my logical switch menu and show you how I set this up. So, I have L1 and L2 set for 3S, L3 and L4 set for 4S. So on the L1 and L2 I have 10.5 and 10.3 volts set for batter battery warning and battery critical. Both of these have to hold for 3 seconds as well as have my SD switch in the down position for it to trigger. My 4S is 14 volts and 13.8 volts battery warning and battery critical. SD switch up and hold for 3 seconds in order for these to trigger. To get my battery warning readout I need L1 or L3 to be true which will then trigger L5. In turn in the special functions screen L5 I have set to SF1 which will then play track battery low one time. Now for the battery critical let's go back to logical switches and battery critical is going to be L2 or L4 it's going to be an OR to trigger L6 then in special functions L6 is going to be on SF2 to play track battery critical every four seconds. As a double check to myself I set up an audio track every time I flip the SD switch. Flight mode 3 Flight mode 4 Flight mode 3 for whenever I'm flying a 3S and flight mode 4 for whenever I'm flying a 4S. I have several other special functions here that I have set up on switches. One is seek mode which whenever I want to turn my beeper on when I'm finding it, it basically reads out seek mode every three seconds. My engine arm and engine disarm. Um, the one that I do want to mention specifically is special function 10 on my SC switch down is to reset my timer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to set up a timer and use that together with um, your telemetry. So from your model selection go to model setup scroll down to timer 1 and set that option up for THS and leave the zeros all across. So what that's going to do is that when you have your throttle up from the lowest point it's going to count in seconds upwards. So it's going to go one, two, three. And if you see down where the minute call is, when that's selected, it's going to call out every minute. This might seem a little bit redundant, um, but I do this because I've once flown where my telemetry for some reason or another um, stopped working mid-flight and I went well beyond what I normally do. I normally do three to four minute flights um, depending on how hard I, f I fly and I brought it in and luckily I didn't go too far past 3.5 volts. Now every time I bring in my quad I don't turn off my remote I just simply reset the timer. And I do that with the SC switch um, I showed you earlier. So from here if you just exit out um, all the way to the main screen you'll actually see the timer um, where the, that's default location so we'll see here 53 54 I have throttle up so when I flick the SE switch you'll see it goes down to zero now I'm gonna go into actually flying so you can see these logical functions um, in play um, what you'll actually be seeing on the screen so you'll know exactly what's happening is you'll be seeing this screen right here you the VFAS is in the center which is the total voltage for the lipo and at the top bar here that I'm pointing to is the timer so pay attention to the timer when the, the VFAS drops to those logical function values for three seconds my warning calls should um, sound out. So let's get to flying. Engines are.
battery. Battery critical. Low battery. critical low battery battery critical low battery battery critical low battery four minutes low battery battery low battery engines disarmed Flight mode four. Engines armed.
one minute. battery low battery engines disarmed low battery battery critical engines armed engines disarmed peak mode peak mode engines armed battery. Thank you. 